make something weird? Let's make miniature makeup that actually works. Some magic tricks and makeup miniatures appear on the table. It seems that Alice acquired it from her voyage to Lilliput. For example, thin, tiny lip gloss. It is perfect for my tender lips. Take a small glitter bottle. Take off the cotton from a Q-tip. Cut off a little piece of the stick. Take off an eyeshadow applicator and cut half of it. Attach the applicator tip to the plastic stick. Cut off a cap of a marker using a heated knife. Hot glue the top of the cap to the glitter bottle. Open the bottle and hot glue the applicator stick into the cap. Take off a wiper from a regular lip gloss and pour the gloss into the little bottle. Put the applicator inside and close the cap. Write the name on the bottle using a black marker. The lip gloss is so space saving that it can fit into the tiniest makeup bag. What's inside of this little bottle? Is it a shrinking liquid inside? I open the cap. Oh, I see. Judging by the smell, it's a perfume miniature. Take an empty eyeliner. Thoroughly clean the bottle. Mix dark red and dark blue acrylic paints and paint the bottle in a mysterious deep purple color. Cut out a print from an old cream tube. We have a flower. Put your favorite perfume into the bottle. Screw on a proper cap and hot glue the print to the bottle. I apply some perfume to my neck. Who could have thought that a fine fragrance is hidden in such a tiny bottle? And here's a mini foundation tube. Alice takes care of my skin. Open a small tube of old ointment using a knife and cut off the bottom. Clean up the inside using a Q-tip. Fill the tube with BB cream. Pinch the end of the tube and fold it up tightly. Paint the tube beige. Put the cap on the applicator to make the job easier and paint the cap with black nail polish. When dry, write the name of the cream with a black pen. Add some details and close the tube. I wonder how long this cream will last. I don't want to say that my cheeks are too big, but I'm afraid this amount of cream won't be enough unless you are going to do a BB bug makeup. And here is Itsy Bitsy Blush. It's so sweet. There's even a teeny weeny puff inside. Cover a round clear makeup container with pink nail polish. Fill it with blush. Press it with a spoon. Take a fluffy pink pom-pom and snip off half. Cut off a strip of satin ribbon and hot glue it to a cardboard circle so that there is a loop. Hot glue a pom-pom half to the other side. Put a little puff into the blush container and close the lid. The blush may be tiny, but it is real anyway. It can make your skin tone and mood better. And if you don't have a suitcase, you can make mini versions of your needed makeup products to fit in your small makeup bag. For example, this lovely little highlighter. Paint an empty glitter container black. Leave the center of the lid clear. Fill the container with highlighter balls. Decorate the lid using nail stickers. This highlighter is so tiny that you can keep it in your pocket. You don't need any makeup bag for it. Alice doesn't mind doing her makeup too. She emphasizes her lips with tender mini lip gloss. Here you are. Take my mirror. Cut off the bottom of a single-use toothpaste tube. Take out the paste left over and clean the tube. Mix pink eyeshadow with Vaseline. Put the gloss into the tube. Close the hole with a binder clip and heat it over a candle to seal the hole. Paint the tube black. Cover the cap with silver paint. Attach small nail stickers to the tube. The lip gloss is so cute! I'm sure the fairies use makeup like this. I want to learn how to conjure. What if I manage to make a makeup miniature all of a sudden? I direct all of my energy. 
Make up us, appear us. Oh, magic! I've conjured a mini eye pencil. I show my invention to Alice. And why isn't she amazed? It's a pity that the pencil doesn't work. We will fix this function next time. To make doll eyelashes, you should put on the toy mascara. We found out the interdental brush for braces looks exactly like the mascara brush. The shape is just the same, but it's smaller in size. We'll need it together with the top. Cut off the handle. We won't need it. Make an eye-catching top. Take the pink cap from a pen or marker. Cut off the clip. The basic details are ready. Assemble the mascara. Put the brush into the cap with the wrong end. Put on the pen top. Perfect! The base is ready. Paint it black. Use the sponge first. Then the brush. Color the mascara brush. Leave the top pink. Embellish the case with a purple strip under the top. If you add real makeup into the container, 3D eyelashes extension effect will be available even for a doll. A makeup set without a lipstick will never be complete. Let's use the metal band of an eraser pencil as the lipstick container. We've made such an unusual lipstick in the prank video. We'll cut off the pencil this time. Remove the eraser with an awl. Cut off the pencil at the metal band border. Trim the end. Increase the container using masking tape. Attach it across the edge. Take your old lipstick you don't use anymore. Transfer it in a spoon. Melt it above a flame. Pour it in the taped metal band container. Wait until it hardens. Take off the tape. Make the cap from a wide drinking straw. See how it fits. Perfect! Cut off the excess. Trim the top a slant to imitate a real lipstick. Take a piece of plastic. Cover it with multi-purpose glue. Attach a straw to get the top side. Cut off the excess. Paint the cap black. Make the color deeper and add some gloss with the nail polish. Attach two pieces of the tape to the cap. Leave a thin strip between. Paint it red. Take off the tape when the polish dries. Here's what we've done. Cool! The lipstick is just like the real one, but it's a tiny one. And you can actually use it to apply to your lips. How about a mini eyeshadow palette? It sounds great! We've got an empty wax for braces box. An SD card case or any other similar box will do. Take a thin foam sheet. Cut out a piece of the box size. Define the shape. Draw eyeshadow pits with a black marker. Cut out with a craft knife. Paint the foam sheet with black nail polish. Attach to the inside with multi-purpose glue. Paint the box with acrylic paint. Use a brush first. Then add texture with a sponge. Cut out the top from a foam rubber sheet. Correct the shape. 
Cut out a foil mirror. Put the foam base in the top. Press over well. Apply the multi-purpose glue. Attach the toy mirror. We've got broken eyeshadow left over. Put in the foam palette. Press the eyeshadow with a pencil eraser. Make an applicator from a Q-tip. Snip off the ends. We'll need the middle. Paint it black. Take the real pads, but make them smaller. Cut them in half. Attach to the black stick. Repeat for the other end. Add a famous makeup brand logo. Subscribe! We make something interesting each time. Give your thumbs up and click the bell. We are making a new video right now.